life. I <laughs> uh, love it. Um, so yeah, we're going to watch the 1999, I think it was straight to VHS movie of uh, mm-hmm. Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And I, for one, am very excited to watch this. Uh, you mentioned that it's been, well, I guess you, you haven't seen it since it's come out, right? Since probably, yeah, since probably 2000, so at least 10 years. 10 years. <coughs> well, that would have been, no, that would have been like 20 years ago. 20, yeah, see, it's the math thing. I don't, uh, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, people send me, people send me the gifts and all that stuff of when I was playing the Pharaoh and all that, you know, um, there's, somebody had sent me something that was hysterical. I forgot what it was, but it was about my makeup. And they mm-hmm. want, <laughs> if I could do some makeup tips online to show them. Make- like, <laughs> I didn't, I had people for that. Yeah. I, I don't, <laughs> You're like Broadway look. makeup tutorial. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. How to look like the Pharaoh. <laughs> That's exactly. amazing. Because you actually starred in the Broadway production of Joseph yes. before. Yes. Yeah, my first, uh, I met Andrew uh, in 1986 when I auditioned. My first Broadway audition was for Starlight Express. And I was lucky enough to get that. So that's where I made the Andrew connection. And then, oh, um, cool. yeah, and then fast forward x amount of years and i got a phone call saying they want me to play the pharaoh and i was like oh cool you know and they said yeah you know you come in top of act two and you do this big number and i was like whoa 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 act two what about act one (laughs) and and i had said i researched that the original pharaoh also played levi so i had said i i don't want to do it unless i can also play levi i'm not that guy I i don't like sitting in the dressing room yeah, so that's totally fair. They they said they said it's it's not any more money. I said it's not about the money. I don't care. I want the I want to work. So <laughs> I got to play Levi. Oh, Dilly, yeah. can you give me uh, uh, the, the mustache frame? <laughs> Sorry to bug you, Marissa. Yeah. Our intro audio actually cut out, so I was wondering if we could just quickly redo our intro a little bit because we actually yes, missed the absolutely. Whole point. Yeah, absolutely you can. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to. The Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat Watch Party. <laughs> we are the band oh, Vienna White from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Vienna, like the city, white with a Y as in White Ave from Edmonton, Alberta. And I am Marissa K. I'm Millie Rouge. And we are very excited and honored today to have our guest along watching the movie with us today, Robert Torti. So hi everybody. <laughs> he's here with <laughs> us. Uh, we were just chatting a little bit before the stream here. So Marissa, we can kind of jump back to what we were chatting about before. I just wanted to make sure everyone knows cool. what we're doing today. Yeah, absolutely. So we were just talking about, uh, well, I guess you prefer Bob. Uh, mm-hmm. we we're talking about Bob's, uh, experience playing the Pharaoh on Broadway before you were actually in the Joseph movie, which mm-hmm. is really, really cool. And, yeah. uh, his, your work in Starlight Express too. And kind of, mm-hmm. that was kind of like you're in with Joseph. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, and that's, that's what yeah. So like I was telling them, I told them I said I, I you know I want to play Levi also, mm-hmm. um, and I got to play that. And then my um, my makeup department made this when I had left. So during the show, I'm in all. Levi is one of the brothers. He's in all the numbers, and certain times you have to put on a mustache, take off a mustache, do the whole thing as a pharaoh, obviously. So there were times at the end of the show. Um, when I finished as the brother and we had to come out for the mega mix that I had to, there was no time to use any, you just literally had to rip it off, take alcohol, wipe down your face. I took the, the wig off and at the time I had hair down to my shoulders, fluff up the hair, put on the white jacket, the white pants, the boot, the whole thing, and, and then run out. So this is, this is what the mustache would look like at the beginning of the week. Oh my gosh. This is what it would look like at the end. <laughs> oh no. Oh my, oh my god. I love how you have them all just in a frame. Well, no, That's no, amazing. No, the, yeah, the makeup department, the makeup department made this for me. And, oh. and the thing is, you know, this is all this is all real human hair. So these things aren't cheap. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I had a um uh everybody else, you know, the girls all wore wigs, the guys stiffening, you know, we all wore different wigs, but I had just this one thing for my mustaches. So I would just pin it on there so we wouldn't lose it. You know, it's like losing an eyelash. Yeah. But yeah, that was, but by, I mean, by the end of the, the eighth show, my face was so raw from just that. 
Yeah. Oof. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine. And like, so you, so with this, this show, this show, you said the last time you were able to actually like fully sit down and watch it was like back in 2000, like 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, right when it, right when it came out. Yeah. Yeah. So for you specifically, like what makes this movie in particular special to you? Um, I, I, the whole show is, is special to me. I love the kid influence. You know, we had, when we were doing the Broadway version, just like, you know, in the movie, we would get three local choirs that would come and be on stage, you know? So that, that whole aspect was really cool. I think the songs are great. I love the, the costume designs, you know, the whole Potiphar. Um, if you look at those, uh, those costumes, the, they're basically, the, it's a pant leg. It's literally mm -hmm. a bell bottom pant leg in front <laughs> to make it look like, you know, it, so it was just, it was just so many fun things. And, you know, we, I literally met lifelong friends that I still, you know, uh, uh, have to this day. Uh, um, that's fantastic. Yeah, it was, it was it, and, and what was cool, what was cool to be, you know, a part of the, the stage production and then be a part of the movie production. Um, everything was shot for the movie. We shot everything at Pinewood Studios in London, which was incredible because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, me being a big James Bond freak, you know, it's like, <laughs> I shot James Bond here. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you I'm standing right where James Bond stood. Um, and then, you know, Donnie, mm -hmm. I grew up in Southern California, a small little town in the San Fernando Valley. Donnie lived a mile away. They had a big mansion, big white mansion. We all knew that it was the, it was the Osmonds. And I remember the first day meeting Donnie uh, when we were doing the film um, and he had done, you know, he had done it forever in Canada and, and, you know, on stage and he's, he's, I'm sorry, he's brilliant. Um, and we started talking, I said, we started talking. I said, you know, I lived here and he go, oh yeah, I know where that is. And I say, Hey, did you ever go down to, you know, the Americana and then we've got the, the pinball you know, arcade next door. And he goes, no. I said, well, what about going to Flukies? Flukies is a miniature golf place, right? You know, no, I never went there. And he literally said to me, he goes, Bob, you gotta understand back then. And we're talking what, 1975, right? He goes, I was getting 5,000 fan letters a week. Oh my God. The, the stuff that shows up in the mail, no oh hit and send God. on a computer because computers weren't even invented then. Yeah. And he lived, uh, like say his house was here, there was another house, a fire station, and then the corner. His house, next door, fire station he goes I tried to run away once I made it to the fire station <laughs> before I got mobbed so oh, no. oh my god but, but he is the nicest his wife his kids his kids are in the film too That's oh really the yeah they're in you'll, you'll see him in the opening oh you have to um, point him out just, when we watch it yeah yeah just the nicest guy um when him and Marie were doing the show I went and see the show and um, I co-hosted with him a couple of times on the local news shows. So that was really cool. I think I can, let me see if I can find it. I'll show it to you. Yeah. But he's just, I, I mean, kindest, most caring person ever. You just, uh, it, it, end of story. Mm -hmm. He really does seem like that, actually. Just, I've, I actually recently watched him on The Masked Singer. <laughs> yeah. And I was very <laughs> fooled. I thought he was, um, I can't remember what's this actor's name. Marissa, you told me this the other day. From How I Met Your Mother. I, th I thought he was... Oh, um, um, Neil Patrick Harris. Yes, I thought he was Neil Patrick Harris. Yes. He completely had me fooled. So <laughs> um, my actually, my next question for you is, and I think you kind of answered this already, but have you ever seen a production of Joseph live on stage before? Have I seen it? Other than my own? Yeah. I don't think I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I don't think I have. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's always a different experience, like watching it versus like being it. So like, I'm very curious to see your reactions to like watching this movie after not having seen it for like 20 years. So I'm so yeah. excited. <laughs> I'm sure it still holds up. I mean, it's timeless. Mm. I'm, I'm waiting for, um, I'm waiting for Andrew to do the, um, the movie version of um, Starlight. I can still skip. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I the only thing I know about Starlight Express is the Family Guy joke where he goes Starlight Express, <laughs> Starlight Express, and he just like goes around the anyway. There's, but, it's, uh... it's funny. There is a um, I forget his name, but I just I uh, spoke with him a couple of weeks ago, and he was. It's it's called What Went Wrong, mm -hmm. and it's on YouTube. 
And it basically talks about different movies, this and that, and was mm -hmm. all about Starlight Express. And like, you know, what went wrong. So, you know, I told my stories and, and other people told their stories. And so it was interesting. We had, we had a good chuckle. Mm -hmm. So it's out on YouTube called What Went, what went Wrong. Yeah, that, Ooh, we'll have to check that out. actually sounds really familiar. I think I've heard of yeah. that before. I'm excited to see I, it. I think I've definitely seen... Uh, I've definitely seen some videos from that for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so one more question I had for you specifically, sure. I know you're a vocal guy. What mm -hmm. prep did you have to do voice wise and physicality wise to like prep for filming this movie? Um, prep wise, not much since I'd played the role for almost two years, you know, on and off. Um, originally it was about, I, I guess, uh, somebody had told me that they usually hire Elvis impersonators. Mm. And I was like... Makes sense. Yeah. And I was like, uh, well, then you got the wrong guy because I, I don't do Elvis. <laughs> and that's when I made the decision. I had said, I can give you an essence of Elvis. And I said, my take on the character is um, he's, he's a psychotic who thinks he's Elvis. Mm. Which means he can jump in and out of it. Oh, so that's yeah. why you see... You, you can see uh, what, what you didn't, in the stage production, I used to go into the audience. Mm, so, that's super cool. Um, and I would stand on a chair over a person and I would, you know, it was this whole crazy fun time. But by playing him as a psychotic who thinks he's Elvis, I get away with so much more. So I remember when I, you know, we would, the band would stop and I would just walk towards the edge of the stage and I would literally take one step. I hadn't even made the step to step down into the audience. And you hear them going, oh. <laughs> and then one step, one step. And then it would just go into a frenzy. And then I would walk, you know, across, you know, the front. And I'd pick somebody out. And I'd just literally go eye to eye with them. And then I would stand up on their armrests right up above them. Oh, my god! And I'd take the oh scarf. God. Take the scarf out. I wipe myself down. I pretend to put it down my pants. <laughs> oh my you know, god! All this stuff, and then I would take the scarf and I would put it over the woman's neck, and I would say, "Are you lonesome tonight?" And then <laughs> she's right sitting there like. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story, um, uh, Doctor Ruth. I stood on Doctor Ruth one night, and she reached up under my. Oh. <laughs> and. I now everyone's just, uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, and I literally just did this. A little to the right. Uh, and that was it. it, it oh, was my God. Minutes. That was 10 minutes. Just kidding. Oh, that's Everybody awesome. Laughing and going oh, crazy. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to hear more about this movie. Yeah. So let's just get right into it. Okay. Into it. Um, so for everybody, uh, everybody who's watching right now, uh, make sure you have Joseph uh, pulled up mm -hmm. if you can. Uh, if you have it pulled up somewhere, make sure you find a version of it. Um, and yeah, we're going to get started. So dust off your VCRs or <laughs> hit that play button, whatever you like. Uh, and we're going to we're going to watch this movie. So all of you can watch along with us at home. Uh, we're going to bring it up a few times if you want to make sure you're caught up with us. Mm -hmm. uh, so Robert and mm -hmm. Millie, if you guys have it all queued up and yep. ready to go, yep. we're going to count it down. Yay. All right. So everybody at home. Are you ready? We're ready. gonna count it down together, starting from zero <coughs> dot dot zero zero. Here we go. Already, three, two, and one. Perfect. And the children are running down the hall. Children are running. Melee. It's a melee. Uh, Marissa, I just need you to stop for one second. Yes. You're gonna count. We can pause. What? You're gonna count it in. I'm going to count it in? Yeah, because I'm the <laughs> guy starting the movie. Oh, outside. okay. We need to start that again because I need to count it down because okay. my editor had no idea we were going live. Okay. Okay. I'm Sorry, guys. Again. Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> this, this seems like it's our first rodeo, but I promise we've done this before. Okay. All right. Is everybody ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Three, two, one. There we go. All right. And we the actually, kids are running uh, down the hall again. Yeah, we have a YouTube comment here. Um, paid, I don't know how to say his name correctly, so I hope I don't butcher this, but Paid Ray, Paid Rag said, Joseph is one of the best musicals. It brought me into the world of musicals, which I thought awesome. was very, very cool. 
It's lovely to hear. If you notice too in this, everybody you're seeing, the adults, those mm -hmm. are all the brothers and wives. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that. Um, cool. Actually, I, I rewatched this not too long ago. Um, fun fact, this is actually Millie's first time seeing this movie. So yes. I'm very curious to know hey, what her reactions are going to be. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, I noticed that when I was watching this movie, because um, when I read about this, it originally started as like a little production that they were going to be putting on for like Andrew Lloyd Webber's kids school mm -hmm. or something like that, if I remember correctly. Is that right? That was it. It was just children's story. Yep. It was never, yeah. was never designed to be anything beyond. Yeah. I think that's just really neat. That's like such mm -hmm. a cool way of like starting a production because yeah. like I was brought up in a Ukrainian Catholic setting and like I could totally picture this being something that I would have watched as like a kid as like a production right. in the school. But there's Richard Attenborough. The guy from Jurassic Park. Yep. Oh, and then who's this crazy guy coming? What the heck? Where's his hair? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, these are all the brothers. Yeah, I'm just trying to like pick out who's who. This weirdly reminds me as like a scene from Matilda. Yeah. I don't know why. Very, yeah, very similar, yeah. Yeah. And you know who the headmaster is on the piano? Uh... Joan Collins. Oh, oh, there she is. Whoa, I didn't notice that before. Maria Friedman. She was she was sweet. It's yeah, good. she's a she's a good uh, she's a good narrator in this one. I liked yeah. her as a narrator. I I can't see him as anything else besides the guy from Jurassic Park. I'm sorry, <laughs> like it's I can't. It's too hard. <laughs> So was this, uh, the people in this production specifically, were these all the people from the Broadway cast or were there some changes? No, there were uh, a lot of local hires. Uh, I do know um, Jocelyn Vodavos. Uh, she was a Broadway, but she also lives in London. So she was in it. Jerry McIntyre, who's the mayor of New York, Good friend of mine uh he was in it i'm trying to think who else i was in it I'm trying to think who else came from the broadway i think that's about it mm, okay i was so, curious yeah, about that the majority were yeah local hires hmm. oh cool um yeah it just it looked like it would have been just like a really fun production to work on <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean and it was you know it's really cool too with you know um with movies, you know, you go into the studio, you prep, you save your voice, do the whole thing, and you leave everything there. You try, every, and you know, because you don't have to sing the next day. Mm -hmm. you know, that is so very true, yeah. You know, obviously on Broadway, you can't. You know, there's days where you're tired and you got to like pull back or, you know, whatever. But that's what's cool about the movie. And then, you know, it, it, takes, it, it takes practice to lip sync well. Mm. Because yeah. you know, if you're just moving your mouth and you're not seeing any strain here, you know, because I do a lot of screaming in this song, and I was yeah. like, <laughs> what I did, what I did for, and what I've, I've every time I've done a movie with a soundtrack, I'm singing along. Oh yeah, and that's the only way. Because mm -hmm. if you're gonna sit there and just mouth it, it's it's gonna look fake. So yeah. Well, yeah, because you, yeah, that's what I've heard is like what good sing along or what good lip syncing is is you actually sing along with Absolutely. the track instead of just. Mm -hmm. uh, just it. melting along yeah. and that's yeah and the key is is that i just say turn the volume up on set and let me read True. you yeah so I'm also this is like the most epic entrance i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> donny osmond <laughs> yeah I, listen yeah joseph has some uh, uh starlight express i had an amazing entrance i was literally on the third story what? and while the music was playing i had to skate across go down an entire floor go straight across go up into a bowl which is like an empty pool oh my gosh front, jump off a 12 foot bowl slide down to the front stop on cue and start singing and then there's the joseph entrance as the pharaoh <laughs> come on <laughs> so andrew been very very good to me yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think he just, I think he's just a huge fan of just like the dramatic, like even watching mm -hmm. fans for the opera. I'm like, he's so dramatic. He's such oh, a drama sure. queen. I love it. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, that sounds like insane. I would definitely break my neck trying to do that entrance. I, I don't know how you did it. But <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I didn't know how to skate, but I eventually learned. So there was a lot of, you know, face plants. Yeah, I, I suppose for, for that, that would be. Yeah. There's a lot of fog in this. Uh-huh. Let's see if I can remember his kids. I was left alone. I love this song. I think it goes to his kids here. Maybe. I mean, that's what I do. I, I get the you would, yeah, you would go to your kids. Yeah. <laughs> the funny, the crazy thing is, is that during, um, like I told you, you know, we'd have these school choirs that would come and they were all in middle school when we were doing on Broadway, you know, LA and San Francisco, mm -hmm. they have their own group now and they're all in their mid to late thirties with kids of their own and all this. And it was like, I, I, they asked me to join the, their page and I'm you know, they're like drinking. And it's like, Wait, hi, you're in middle school. You can't <laughs> be drinking. <laughs> but they're all, oh all grown up. That's so funny. I guess, I guess every single generation goes through that. Like me and Millie were literally just talking about this the other day. A kid that she works with was like, yeah, I was born in 2007. We're like, so you're like, what, five? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, wait, let me see. I think. Oh, I don't remember. Terrible. So I'm curious, where was this filmed? Like this, uh, this, this scene here? Pine, this was at Pinewood Studios. They built the set mm. there, mm. Um, everything. And, and it was crazy. Um, like the Potiphar set in this movie is just stunning and all, you know, everything. But when we were done filming, cause I only went, I went out there, uh, they had me there for two weeks. I worked three days. Oh, to wow. Shoot, hmm. to shoot the entire sequence. Yeah. Uh, um, and, but when you'd finish, because we had this, we had like these two sound stages and these sound stages were massive. I mean, you could, you could literally park a plane in there. Um, the sets would be in the trash the next day. Wow. Really? Yeah. It's, wow. it's cheaper to throw them away than it is to store them. I guess. Yeah. That does make sense. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that truly with a lot of, a lot of things like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, that's really I unfortunate. Thought, Cause like this, that transition right there was really cool. Yeah out of the book into the into it now we had yeah. this on broadway we had a rotating um turntable mm. and but there were these two doorways on either sides so we <laughs> to ruin the illusion we would have crew guys loading the sheep loading the sheep uh -huh. and the sheep oh. come through, <laughs> sheep come through <laughs> then you take it off and then the brothers <laughs> would get on there and the wives would get on there it was oh it was gosh. a lot of fun that's so cool. I love I love hearing about stuff like that when it comes to like mm -hmm. stage directions because like yeah. I come from like a performance background. So like whenever people talk about like, yeah, I had this like 30 second quick change. I'm like, yes, I feel your pain. I understand yeah. that. Um, I just love hearing about that stuff. But I guess on a movie set, it would be a little bit different, a little bit yeah. easier between transitions. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But yeah, and, and our set, the design of our set was it was an open book. So it's like you step in and out of the book. Oh, that's kind of cool. Because like, <coughs> mm -hmm. the movie is more of just like, this is the teachers putting on a production for the students right. kind of thing. Exactly. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, this is the introduction to the brothers. Millie, what are your first impressions? Well, I'm trying to figure out how old Donnie is in this movie. Like what age range is? I'm trying to figure it out because he looks very, very. He looks younger than 30, but I feel like he's in his 30s. Let's see. It was 20, 20 years ago. About 20 years ago. So I was 38. 30ish. So I yeah. think I think Donnie was. Is Donnie older or younger than me? I don't know. I, I might have to Google that. Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yeah, with Jerry McIntyre, Jeff Blumenkrantz, who's in amazing pianist and he also was from uh the u.s i just saw him also i wanted to say her outfit is like so 90s and i love it mm. <laughs> like the shoulder pads the crop top the long yep. skirt I, everything about it i love it <laughs> and it's and it's funny too it's the same same costume designer really oh my gosh yeah 
Yeah, same choreographers, uh, Anthony and Nicola Traherne, who I just saw Nicola um, uh, last week on the Joseph Zoom. She looks great. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, see, stuff like this. This is what I love, you know, the interaction, how, how smart it's written. And it's like, oh, we love him. Oh, you're an idiot. Oh, we love him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sibling rivalry at its finest. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was brilliant. So I guess yeah. something yeah. I wanted to know actually from Bob is I know you kind of talked about how you got into this film specifically, but I kind of wanted to know more about how you actually got into the world of film and music just to begin with, like what kind of inspired you to get into that kind of field of, of work? Um, it was actually in my high school. I went to a very small high school in the San Fernando Valley. I think it was, you know, the entire, my graduating class was less than 200. Um, and they had a theater department there. I was a big jock, played football, played baseball, um, ran track. And as a joke, I was you know, always a prankster. And I was 16, 16 at the time. Um, I just tell all my friends, I'm going to go audition for this musical. So, like, oh, come on, Tordy, don't be an idiot. I said, <laughs> well, too late. I'm already an idiot. So might as well. <laughs> and, um, it was an original production called birth of the blues. So it was it basically music all the way through, you know, 1973 at the time is where we were or 70, wait, 74, I think. Um, so I did. I actually showed up and I auditioned in full football gear, uh, shoulder pads, cleats, holding my helmet. I sang. I remember I sang yesterday. Yesterday, all my trouble seems so. Oh, uh, great song! Yeah, and I didn't know I could sing. I never even tried to sing, um, but I did like performing. You know, for just being the funny guy. And I got cast. <clears throat> so I kind of carried it out and kept going. And by my senior year, I was, you know, getting most of the leads. Um, and we had a high school that um, was very well known. So we had producers and directors and casting people coming to see our shows. Um, it's like, you know, I did um, um, Godspell, where I played Jesus. I did uh, Roar the Grease Paint, Smell of the Crowd, where I played Cocky. Um, we did Jesus Christ Superstar. Nice. Um, what West Side Story? I played Bernardo. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to think all these different things. Uh, anyway, so um, I graduate and right out of high school, um, my director and I, I give total praise to my um, my musical director Ed Archer and my uh, my director Ray Cavallari because um, if it wasn't for them seeing something in me, I would have nothing. You know, I would not be here. I, I don't know what I'd be doing. Um, so we started a theater, a theater company called Camille Ensemble. And that was named after his mother who had passed away a couple of years before. And our first production was Godspell. I played Jesus in Godspell and Universal Studios happened to be in the audience one night and they signed me to a seven year contract at seven. Wow. wow. Holy moly. Wow. So that was, that was the kickstart. And then, you know, booking things here and there on and off, um, did a lot of television, uh, a lot of soaps, did every soap there was. <laughs> um, and then I, I remember um, uh, when my manager called for Starlight, I was like, I think going to Broadway, those people are professionals. Um, and I did and was lucky to, to get the job and also be Tony nominated for it. So, um, so that, yeah, that was it in 1979. That was the kickstart. That's really That's exciting. Crazy. Yeah. So cool. I, I feel like your story kind of resembles like the plot of High School Musical where there's the, yeah. the jock <laughs> boy who doesn't want to audition for the play, but right, <laughs> you're right. just missing the love interest and the love romance. That's all. Right, right. Well, it's or so, Troy Bolton. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so funny because I never, you know, I think it's important, you know, and I teach my students and my wife teaches her students to set goals, you know, uh, manifest, see it happening, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I never wanted to be famous. I just wanted to work for a living. And I got my wish. Yeah. You know, I worked all the time. I mean, hindsight, it was like, should have wished for being famous. But, <laughs> um, but we always, uh, in, our, in our show, in our Brunch to Broadway show, I, we tell stories about all that stuff. It was like, yeah, I did this TV series called Vinny and Bobby. And I worked with this other actor, really nice guy, Matt LeBlanc. I don't know what's happened to him lately. Um, and then oh, what you I doing? Did, <laughs> yeah, 
and then when I did um, uh, that thing you do, I was in the makeup trailer and hanging out, you know, in commissary with this actress. She was very sweet, really pretty. Charlize Theron, I'm pretty sure her career has gone nowhere. Um, so <laughs> then I came to the conclusion, it's like, hey, if you want to be famous, just be in a project with me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's great. A, and and it just goes on and on and on. Actually, really cool. Do you know Do you know the band Vintage Trouble? I don't. Uh, I don't think I do. No. Look them up. I think you really like them. Uh, anyway, the lead singer is an, uh, a guy by the name of um, uh, Ty Taylor, and Ty was the original Benjamin on Broadway. Oh, cool! And one day, uh, Michael was out. Uh, Michael Damien was our Joseph and Ty went on. Now Ty's African-American. So first of all, I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. Second of all, Ty went on and I just tear up when I, when I, when I remember it, he was so amazing, so engaging. And you could tell by the response from the audience and everything. And then afterwards I went up to him and I had said, look, man, I don't know much, but what I do know, your gift is taking you around the world. Mm. And sure enough, if you look up Vintage Trouble and look who they've opened for, and he's amazing. And his stories are, the songs are amazing. And his vocal, it's, it's like, Josh, come on. But I I'll remember- to check out I, that band. Yeah, yeah, Vintage Trouble. Everybody should check it out. Um, uh, he, and you can you can become a troublemaker. Just you know, sign onto their website and become a troublemaker. Awesome. Subtle but, plug. Uh, yeah. Shout out. <laughs> shout out. Shout out. But I, but I do remember seeing him going on for the first time, and it was like, holy crap! I mean, mm -hmm. you you know, you're lucky to see things like that maybe twice, three times in your lifetime. Yeah. Where you mm -hmm. go, oh, because I like I remember seeing this. <laughs> was that a? It was a. Beach Boys concert or a Kiss concert? I don't know. And the opening app was Cheap Trick. Oh, mm -hmm. and sweet. And nobody was paying attention to them but me because <laughs> they were freaking awesome. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh this well, this was very funny. We did this on stage too, and somebody was the puppet. Ma Joseph was the the Joseph is the puppet master of the snake. Oh, this. <laughs> oh man. A tragic <laughs> but inspiring tale. I wanted to mention too. We have our uh, one of our fellow followers, Arch, who came in on Twitch. <gasps> hey, Arch! Um, and he said he likes the fact. This is a little bit the beginning, but he likes the fact that the dancers in the background are also committed to the show and do their own part. And he was very mm -hmm. impressed that Robert knows yesterday. I'm assuming that, oh. was, that was from earlier, but <laughs> I, I mean, listen, look up "old" in the dictionary, and you're going to see my picture. <laughs> I used to listen to the Beatles on albums. Oh, good old vinyls. Yeah. yeah. I've my oh believe me, you and my dad would have a lot to talk about. He also uh he also has a lot of the Beatles vinyls that I've listened to as well. Um Oh yeah. Zeppelin, Alice Cooper. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. On and on and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um actually I was just watching this scene, I remember, because I told you guys before I did uh, a Ukrainian dance version of this show. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's really weird. It was like set in Ukraine or whatever. Um, but I played one of the wives in this scene. And my part was to uh, do that like big wailing thing that she does, like the singing with the coat. Oh, yeah. And so this is actually really funny. So when I went to go do that part. Um, one of the kids backstage had apparently like ran by the laptop and they accidentally like paused the music right as oh, I was no. about to go do it. But oh, everybody knew that I was a singer and they're like, oh, does this mean Marissa's going to sing live? And then it paused and I just didn't do it. And then the music started again and then I went into it and everyone thought it was a joke. And I was like, nope, that was just a mess up. And it was, yeah. it was really, this part where she's like, ah! <laughs> and like the music paused right before it was really <laughs> awkward. And this was this number was really cool. The hoedown afterwards. You know, oh, it's so like, fun. again, the brilliance of, you know, the yin and yang of the situation. Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah, it's so funny because like this, I mean, obviously this, this show is not meant to be taken super, super seriously. It's meant to be no. kind of like a fun retelling of a story from the Bible. Right. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I have to say like the hoedown is probably one of my favorite scenes just strictly for the choreography, just because yeah. it looks like so much fun. That was a lot of fun to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you did you do the choreography for the did, for yes. the hoedown? Ah. I did. There there was an issue <clears throat> because I was on a white contract, which is a principal's contract. And then if you're chorus, you're on a pink contract. Well, Equity came out to see the show and they saw, they were like, why is Bob in that number? Why is Bob in that number? Why is Bob in that number? <laughs> and apparently, and I didn't know this, apparently on, if you're on a white contract, you have to be discernible. So as Levi, I was always discernible because I had my hat, my, my curls and the mustache. Mm. But in Potiphar, we're all dressed the same. Oh. So in all, the, all, all the ones like in Go Go Joseph, they had so I got taken out of Gogo -Go Joseph. I got taken out of Potiphar. I'm trying to think what else, um, but it was like, but it didn't it didn't stop me. It's like you know during the um, the the end of Act One where he's in in prison and everybody's in the in the robes and everything and they're wandering mm -hmm. around. Oh yeah, you know I was in there. <laughs> and I just had to, I had to get out before they all throw well, the robes off and they're all wearing the, yeah. you know, the joseph stuff but i would yeah. do that constantly until that's i found a, that's out, a true love for theater <laughs> yeah until i found out that they have infrared cameras and they knew it all the time oh <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say marissa uh, i was noticing the dancers they have those red boots very similar to the boots you wear in your ukrainian dancing as well yeah, it was that was actually one of the first things I noticed when I watched this movie back when we did Joseph. Yeah. I was like, uh, oh, they're wearing red boots. Oh, wait, no, those are cowboy boots. But <laughs> yeah. um, we actually the choreography we did was actually like we lifted it right from the movie. Like we obviously did an adaptation of it. Um, yeah. But I remember learning this like this, the mm -hmm. this part. The, yeah, the, and then they're all like doing the, then, the hoedown yeah, part. The, yeah, so the, much fun. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Da, da, da. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yep. Oh, so much fun. Those costumes were hot, though. I yeah. could imagine. They, they looked very really, heavy. They were heavy and warm, yeah. And the poor girls all having to wear those hoods. I Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, because we had, I think we had two or three quick change booths. Obviously, one for the girls, one for the guys. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was like, I mean, it was, it was a chore choreographed brilliance because everybody's got to go a different way and and for every person that goes into that tent there's a dresser and right. that's choreographed yeah yeah i was gonna say like the like on the broadway production i imagine that the costume changes would have been pretty quick and did so that's another thing i was curious about just mm -hmm. anytime i'm talking to someone who's been on broadway i'm always curious about this so <laughs> forgive me for fangirling a little bit um sure. but uh I wanted to know specifically no, no. for you, what was one of the struggles that you've always had with, with mm -hmm. quick costume changes? Like, have you always had people help you? Have you ever had to do it by yourself? That's a good question. Um, sometimes you can do it yourself. You know, in the beginning, you never do it by yourself because you don't know what you're doing. Um, and then you get it down to, you know, get it down to a science. It was like, um, uh, for Joseph specifically, we talked about the mustaches, you know, cause they would, somebody was helping me before I said, it's just faster if I just do it myself. Cause they would mm -hmm. be like going, taking the bandaid off slowly yeah. trying not to hurt me and a little q-tip with alcohol it's like just rip it off yeah <laughs> um uh, it's like one of those things where you're like you have to come back to them later and be like i'm sorry for what i said during my quick change <laughs> yeah, yeah. um starlight there were no costume changes because you're basically in that costume um mm -hmm. and it took a while to get it down to where if you needed to use the restroom because mm -hmm. the skates never came off you put yeah. those skates on you know you're and in it. That's the last thing you put on because yeah. you know once they go on, they ain't coming off till the show's over. <laughs> oh, um, man. But uh, but yeah, I mean, um, I'm trying to think some other shows that I did that had some crazy. Oh, uh, Smokey Joe's Cafe had some fun, quick changes. That's where I met my wife. Um, oh. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, it's the same thing. It's like you know, you got the you got your dressers who God bless them all. Um, yeah. and, um, and you just go, but again, in the beginning, you know, it, it's like anything else. It's like building, you know, an actor when they take on a new show and you could be in the best shape in your world, but you are going to be out of breath. You are yeah. going to be because you're doing something you haven't done. So oh, all yeah. that stuff takes time. 
uh, just as trying to figure out the costume change. It's like saying, there's no way I'm never going to make this. And then it's like, then you get like, you know, two months into the run, you're like going. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it starts off. Yeah, oh yeah. It definitely it. starts off as like, everyone's freaking out. You're like yelling at people. You're like, mm-hmm. no, take this off first. I need that on first. And you're like, everyone's got like flashlights in their mouths. And then exactly. by like the 10th time you've done the show, you're like, yeah, I got this. Go away. Yeah. Like. I am so pissed that you talk about, you just reminded me of something that I didn't invent the bite light. The bite light. Oh yeah. Have you that's not a seen thing. the bite lights? I've, I've, I've seen them used. I've watched um, Broadway quick changes on YouTube and I've seen people use them that's for it. that. It's, it's a silicone covering over a flashlight that you put in your mouth, you bite on it when you want it on you. That's so smart. Oh. That'd be rich. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, like I'm always dumbfounded by quick changes when I watch them on mm-hmm. on like yeah. YouTube and Broadway and stuff. It's incredible. Yeah. This, these Potiphar costumes that I thought were interesting when we saw them the first time that it's a kid show, isn't it? This show. I, that, yeah. <laughs> when I saw these, when I, <laughs> Millie, what was your first impression of these costumes? Well, I just like to know. I couldn't, I just couldn't look away from the center of her chest. It's, it's just, mm-hmm. it's just, I just, I try not to, but it's just very obvious. So I can't imagine as a kid being like, Hmm. Yeah. And that's when the parents have a lot of difficult questions to answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. But yeah, I mean, look at those, look at those costumes. Yeah. Oh man. And then, yeah. So you see, see in the Potiphar number, see the front flap, that's just a pant leg. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's really funny. (laughs) Although this set does look pretty incredible. Like I would love it if my room looked like the Potiphar set. It was gorgeous. I mean, just look look at the floor too. I mean, it's yeah. beautiful. Oh man, <laughs> these late '90s graphics are killing it. It's great. <laughs> Also, I get kind of weird Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory vibes from ah, that, yes. mm-hmm. that like look up. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and, and I, I, I love I love the way Potiphar's hair matched the set where they gave him yeah. like a yeah. Bride of Frankenstein little tweak in it. Oh yeah. Costume department was on top of it. Also, uh, I wanted to say that this is my favorite song in the entire musical. Mm-hmm. So good. <laughs> My wife wanted to remind you of this story. Um, you know, we shot in HD, so you know One they the see, first. they see ev- nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, they mm-hmm. see everything, everything. So <laughs> the makeup department had asked me if um, they wanted, yes, uh, they if if I would mind. Walking. Yeah, they said they were gonna. You know, I didn't have a unibrow, but there was fuzz there. They said the camera is going to pick up on. And they said, would you, you know, we can do that for you. I said, sure. They said, did you want, do you want some, some numbing, numbing cream? cream. Oh my like, God. Numbing cream. All the women just collectively roll their <laughs> eyes right now. I said, numbing cream. Are you kidding me? Just have at it, please. I'm a man. And they went and took maybe one hair. And I was like, Dang. <laughs> What the hell? Why do you do this to yourselves? <laughs> yes, give me oh the numbing gosh. cream now. That's so funny. I mean, my that... eyes were watering. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I I've, I've picked, I've plucked my dad's eyebrows before. I plucked my mm. brother's eyebrows before. I plucked my ex's eyebrows before, and they yeah. all had the same reaction. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys probably have. You, you got like a, a extra strength in there or something yeah. that makes the woman much Pain. more than the man. Cause I was like, <laughs> Oh, hell to the no. See, now I want it. Like now I'm curious if they did that for Donnie Osmond too, or if that's mm. just. Probably. I mean, I don't have eyebrows anymore. I used to have eyebrows. <laughs> it's 2020 Robert. You can, you can, uh, you can paint them on if you like. <laughs> do your makeup tutorials. That's, that's how we'll do it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That was cool too. Because where are you guys? Are you on Donnie singing now? Mm-hmm. Close everything uh, up. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the I'm on the choir. The children holding the candles and singing. Okay, yeah, that was cool too. Him going down the mm-hmm. going down the pit. That was a really mm-hmm. cool effect. 
I love this song so much. Oh, that's really oh, it's so beautiful. It's really good. Like even just taken out of context from the Joseph show, it's just like a good song. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, I remember seeing that stuff in the trash the next day too. Oh wow, gosh. that makes me so sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, obviously like, they keep uh... the, they keep the um, you know the props and things like that, but mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the main pieces. What are you gonna do with them? Man, yeah. I mean, like I, they took the the obviously the Pharaoh head for the opening that was from one of the touring productions mm -hmm. they, ain't, they ain't throwing that away and they ain't rebuilding that either yeah so they probably mm -hmm. got that from one of that one of the one of the companies and then just built up the set mm -hmm. but yeah when we shot that opening i'm not kidding you we were in this at at uh pinewood studios the 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 studio was i mean you could you could barely see the camera that's how far away it was. But then when you see the shot going, damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Close every door to me. Oh, uh, yeah, the choir joining in. So good. Mm -hmm. And I think I was, I was watching this when they were filming because I, you know, I had nothing to do. My wife and I, we had just gotten married. Mm -hmm. um, and she came out, uh, how long did you stay with? We were there a week, right? They gave you a week of absence. Yeah, she was on Broadway. She was on Broadway doing Smokey Joe. So they gave her a week of apps uh, 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 so we could have our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. So we had our honeymoon in London. But then when then she was gone, it was like, well, now what do I do? So I pretty much <laughs> played golf every day and showed up to the set. Yeah, Bob's yeah. here again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were that guy who's just like, hey, guys. Guy. Yeah. Just Honestly, the, the if I really were in cool. the, dude, if I were in the same position, I would be like, yes, I would like to show up today. Do you work mm -hmm. today? Nope. I'm just here to watch. Just to observe. <laughs> like, I mean, if yeah. I had the chance to watch Donny Osmond sing that, I probably would. I would mm -hmm. definitely be there. Yeah. You want to yeah. witness that. Him, his show, his and Marie's show here in Vegas was so good. Oh my God. Mm. It was just so entertaining, so fun. Gotta go to Vegas. <laughs> well, yeah. they closed now. Yeah. I think they did. <laughs> oh my God. How many years did they do? It was originally only a six month contract. Okay. And they did eight or nine years. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, you'd be hard pressed trying to get a ticket. Mm hmm. I could imagine, world, so. yeah. Yeah. Wow. Over so the impressive. flamingo. <laughs> also, this this whole scene, I'm <laughs> I'm mostly just excited because, like, all I can all I can picture right now is just you, Bob, just being like in the background, like secretly in your pharaoh costume, but also being like, <laughs> I want to be a part yeah. of it too. That's, <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly it. This is what I'm telling this you. This is the scene. <laughs> but we all had hoods over our, you know, mm -hmm. and we had no cameras doing close-ups on us. Man. Yeah, that's right. uh, that's true. Oh, yeah. You could just easily sneak in there. <sighs> oh yeah, man, these costumes though. Mm -hmm. I always thought when I watched this movie, I always thought that the butler looked like a bumblebee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to wear mine. Well, what was my costume? I know I was had a vest and I was shirtless. Let me see when it comes up. I'll see if I can figure out my costume. And it's probably the guy playing Levi is uh, uh, wearing it because you would always mm. wear the same. <laughs> the makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Cheeks. <laughs> cheeks. It's right out of Shrek. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> he totally does. That's really yeah. funny. Oh my gosh. He totally looks like Lord Farquaad. I never yes. realized that before. <laughs> oh, there's the woman that uh, you stood over top of on, uh, on your little thing there. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love how they're just like, now I'm in, now I'm out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't understand how you're trapped in here. <laughs> so i'm curious for you robert um so you said that you were only 
you were only on set for, or you were only filming for, what was it like a, like you filmed it in like a couple of days? Yeah. Like three days. Yeah. From, so yeah. From rehearsal, start of rehearsal, yeah. uh, recording hmm. studio and final, um, final production. So days. how many, how many hours roughly did you like, did you have to be in rehearsal for this? Cause you were already in the Broadway production. So like, did you require yeah. a lot of rehearsal after that? No, it was pretty much everything was still, the choreography was the same. The setup was a little different. The stairs you'll see were very steep and very sharp. Mm. The edges oh because they were, and then Donnie actually cut his leg Oof. on, on it because, you know, he's, he's obviously just in the loincloth and barefoot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it was just, it was very similar, you know, the opening, all that stuff. Um, but then you'll see the Pharaoh stairs and then there's also the stairs down at the front. Right. And those were also very steep. So, um, yeah, I mean, we went in the studio. I think I was in the studio maybe two hours. Oh, okay. And I'm pissed, too, because the end <laughs> note, I wish I would have done that on Broadway. Mm. Oh, I yeah. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even think of doing it. And when I was in there, the producer was like, hey, can you hit this? And I said, I don't know. Let's try. And I hit it. And I was like, yeah, apparently, yes. Um, <laughs> but it was, uh, it was a great... Um, it was a really, really cool, fun time. Mm -hmm. but yeah, so like three days. That, that's really it. Wow. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, I guess that's like a pretty easy rehearsal process, which actually sounds kind of great. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's, uh, well, that's, that's I, pretty cool. I, you know, I, I did have an in because I knew the role, you know. And True. They were, yeah. They, weren't, they, they literally, this is the exact same dance from Broadway. Yeah. I was oh. going to say it looked, uh, it looked yeah. very uh, yeah, the similar. Yeah. all the same. I saw, so. <laughs> I saw a gif of like that part where they all take their hoods off and it uh -huh. was like a year from now when quarantine's over and we're all going out to the club. And it was <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And I was like, yeah, this is what it'll be like. Yeah. hundred <laughs> percent. But man, this whole set just looks so cool. So crazy. Yeah. Did you tell them about the blue suede shoes? What about them? <laughs> Like I'm loving the, the oh, interjections. No. It's great. I, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them. It's a great story because your mother put you in. No, it's about the boots because I thought they were going to have us in sandals. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. And how your mother had you in I, relationship I, goals. I, I, <laughs> yeah. You know, I grew up Italian. You know, my mother's Canadian. My father's Italian. And oh, cool. um, they would dress us in like little short shorts, white long socks and hard soled shoes. So I was used to that. And I never, I still, I've never owned a pair of flip-flops. I've never owned a pair of sandals. And I remember telling my manager, I said, wait, Joseph, it takes place in the desert, right? So they're probably going to be wearing sandals. Okay. <laughs> if they're wearing sandals, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were the coolest boots ever. They're all, yeah. they, you know, all that stuff was, uh, was made for us. Mm -hmm. Went in for mm -hmm. our fittings, their custom made shoes. Um, did you get to keep them? No, no, I did Aww. keep, um, I did get the microphone, the Pharaoh microphone. Mm. From oh, nice. The nice. sound gave me that. So I've got that. And then um, from the movie, I have the original blue suede shoes and the wig. Ooh, oh, okay. There you go. That's so awesome. I'm going to get the wig. Yeah, I'm going to get the wig. Um, <laughs> fixed up and just put it on a thing and then put it in a box because I, I love little little trinkets like that mm -hmm. and then when we did the um the anniversary of joseph on broadway i wore the blue suede shoes from the oh movie. that's awesome yeah that's a, a very a cool nod to elvis not, yeah i would say i don't want to brag or anything but uh these are the original shoes from the broadway production <laughs> and, the and they still fit so say it Oh man, here's the intro. He's coming. Yeah. Here comes. Here comes the crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, like, when I was looking through this this movie oh, and I was Lisa. watching it, I didn't realize I didn't realize that it was you at first. Ah. Because I like because I know you from the coach from She's the Man. I know She's you as that. Yeah, I know you as the dad Zach from Sweet Life, Zach and Cody. Yeah. So like I was watching this, and, oh my god, the blue suede shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Look at these soles. Look at oh, damn. These things are so thick and they do not bend. bend wow. Wow. At all. That's like walking around in hockey skates. That's exactly it. So, that trying so to cool. dance in those, 
Your point no. is just like not a thing. There was, well, I never had a point. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, my wife has the point. Yeah. And then we always joke about, you know, the arches and it's like, if she were to walk and there was a walnut, she wouldn't feel it, but I would crush it because I'm Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Man, I feel I feel that pain both uh, metaphorically and literally. I feel that pain. Um, I've been there before. Those shoes look awesome, though. They look yeah. like that. Uh, do you ever yeah. wear them like out ever, or do you just like kind of keep them? No, as, like a keep. No, I mean, I, I just they just keep them up in the closet. Yeah, and it still says. Yeah, it's got my name and the code. And these were all handmade. Wow, that's so impressive. By a shoe company in London. Oh, that's cool. so cool. I'm so yeah, glad that you got to keep not, them. That's awesome. They do not bend. So now watch. <laughs> Gambas? Yeah, that's huge. Oh, I don't know. Gamba? I think that, I think Gamba? that might be USA. Um, but you'll see, cool. just literally yeah. imagine wearing hockey skates. And, and then walking down. And walking down the stairs. Mm. So I also incorporated that too as an awkwardness of him. It's like, there's kind of a cool and kind of an awkward. Mm. At the same that's cool. Time. Yeah, it was, it's great. I love your intro. It's just like, it's so epic. Yeah. I used to, to be honest, I remember the first time that I was backstage and I'm prepped like this and I see, and I see it just start going up and I'm like, bah, 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 bah. Uh, it's always the it waiting is the hardest part. Yeah. Cause it, I mean, so yeah, look at that thing. Did you have that moment while you were filming this? Oh, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, I guess it's probably like a throwback to you. You're just like, oh, suddenly I'm yeah. on Broadway again. And yeah. then these costumes. God bless those guys and girls with those heads on. Mm -hmm. doing yeah. All that choreography. Very oh similar to Starlight. My helmet, you know, was this big. Yeah. And if I needed to look at you, I had to turn. Mm. Oh, geez. <laughs> I had no peripheral. You can only see straight ahead. Now you're oh my gosh. 30 miles an hour on a dark set going, I hope I see somebody. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, and the blue girls. Uh, check out the blue girls. Um, I was gonna say the the coins in their crotch. Yes, I I remember that very. Yeah, Millie's like oh, where she was like looking for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. there they are. Um, yeah, man, I was gonna say Graceland. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah, nice Elvis yeah. impression. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dali, will you let them in? I think they're here. <laughs> the garage is closed. So cool. Oh, I didn't notice the gates behind you. It's like music notes. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, those are the, designed around the gates of Graceland. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious to know, Bob, what was your actual like favorite song of the film, whether you were in it or not in it? What was the one that was kind of stuck in your head like the most when you were filming uh, this? Close, close Every Door, um, Go Go Joe. Um, yeah, I mean. Too, too hard to pick one. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Kanan I Days, would say this one. I loved Canaan Days. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a good song. That That's so coming much, up. That's that was it. so much fun to do. So the blue suede shoes, you're wearing those right now, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. And if you look, I have, a, I have a big tattoo, and they airbrushed it out. Oh, geez. Oh. So if you look at my right arm, there's no tattoo. It's not there. there it is. Oh. No tattoo. Miracle of television. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take for them to cover it up? Because I know like there's a special oh. makeup you can use to like cover it yeah, all up. They would, they would do a white out. They literally did white first. Oh, oh okay. Interesting. And then they would tan it down from there. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I know, like, I mean, again, like, I'm from a dancer background. So, like, I know dancers who've, like, had to, like, cover up their tattoos, like, all on their forearm. And they're, yeah. like, having mm -hmm. trouble. It's, like, coming off on their costume and stuff. But mm -hmm. I guess you probably might not have that issue in this costume. Yeah. But And then we had, I know when we did Starlight, because the makeup was really intensive. And it was, your, you know, you're sweating and the whole thing. We had this German face spray that was oh. basically hairspray for your face. So you would spray your yep. face and then nothing would come off. Oh yeah. And it took forever to get off at the end of the day. Yep. Uh, I've, I've done that many a time when it's like, someone's yep. like, grab me the face spray. I'm like, no time hairspray. Mm -hmm. 
This is my funny because I can see the. I like it. I was gonna say I can see the. I can see the Bob isms. Yeah. (laughs) Great. See, this is definitely the psycho part. (laughs) It's the facial expressions for me. They just get me. The eyeballs, you know. Yeah. (laughs) Very expressive. uh, Expressive Elvis Pharaoh. Oh my goodness. So you said that these, these steps were like really, really s- mm. like steep or they were very high. No, they were sharp, sharp, yeah, like on the corners. They, yeah. The corners were very sharp, like right hmm. at the top. Oh, okay. You had to step, you had to clear it. Oh, geez. So the steps that, that were up top, like the ones in the back there, those ones, those, those were really steep, but they weren't sharp. They weren't sharp, but they were narrow. And I'm walking down, oh, you know, with Ed Munster, you know, yeah. Fred Munster <laughs> shoes going. So this is this, was this be the part that you would go into the audience to no, like. It would, it, it's when I, everything stops and when I run down to him. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Because okay. then I would, uh, after that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your facial expressions just kill me. <laughs> Man, those blue costumes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That must have been a process to get into those. I was going to say, costumes. Yeah. 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 Every day or whatever, it would be t- difficult. It's the makeup. Yeah. Because remember, everybody you're seeing, they're this, they're the wives and the brothers. They got, they have other numbers to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm all I can look at is your feet now. <laughs> I'm just like looking at like you were, you were not lying. They do not bend at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness love that part too because we did that on stage breaking the fourth wall oh yeah <laughs> and then again with you know with the character um, that I developed he's an idiot look at him <laughs> wait, who, who, who this man could be uh, oh I know wait who who are you talking about like, oh, yeah, man, who am I going to pick? I, I have no idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed that before. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, this scene where all, like, the, all the girls, like, run to Joseph, and you're just like, hey, and you're, like, mm-hmm. pushing your way through. Yeah. Is that what that you guys fun. did in the, did you guys do that in the Broadway show oh, yeah. too? Absolutely. Oh, I love it. And I love in the movie, the, the cut that they used when you see the end of the, the me just laying there spread eagle to the camera. <laughs> spread, <laughs> spread eagle. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it weird watching yourself after like 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it brings back really cool memories because I had a great time with the show. I was a great character to play. Like, I would imagine that just like being on set, working with all these people would just be like a ton of fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, there are the narrow steps. Oh, yeah, I can tell. Like, just from watching you guys walk up, I can see your heel like hanging mm-hmm. off the edge of the step. Mm-hmm. To walk with the turnout. <laughs> Again, this is a this is a kids show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> <coughs> and you still have that oh. microphone? I do, yeah. From the, that was from the Broadway. And it's funny because, you know, if you see the end of it, um, it's got little tassels, very similar mm-hmm. to 
uh, it's designed for what the Egyptians had. And they use mm -hmm. that to swipe away flies. Oh. So cool. when I used to go into the audience, I would literally just take the microphone and just beat myself on the chest <laughs> with it. I would, I would walk by going. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yep wow the, the edit was interesting too because something else happened after that you'll see her reaction I'm a little behind you guys I think I think I am too <laughs> I might be ahead of you guys but Oh, this is uh, this is your favorite song coming up here. Also, Millie, I was gonna say this is uh, this is totally your song. Is it okay? Oh yeah, it's a <laughs> French song. Mm, love it. <laughs> We would, um, on Broadway, we would, uh, on, on the big long note that they hold out, mm -hmm. we would like test ourselves and see how much longer we could go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you do the, note. where to did? To the point where the audience is like, would start applauding, yeah, you know. Oh, I love it. Yeah, because I guess those kind of things you can't do in film, like you could try yeah. to recreate it. That's what is interesting to me about watching the film version of, Broadway shows and the film version sure. of musicals is yeah. like you won't it's it's cool to watch but you don't get the same experience as like watching it in person because there's all these little nuances and little inside jokes that you have performing yeah. it live mm -hmm. yeah like we're getting we're getting ready to watch Hamilton tonight on Disney plus so, so I'm looking forward to that oh, yeah. I've never seen it. Mm. I cannot wait I'm so excited to watch that too it's gonna be great I'm having two watch parties today yeah. <laughs> I need to watch this movie because it's all Marissa talks about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I see. see. Look how cool how they incorporated the Pharaoh set into Joseph's set. And I thought the slot machine was genius. The slot machine? Oh, yeah. that one. Right, right, right. Yeah, with the ears of corn. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I love his song. He's got a great French accent. I was going to ask you, <laughs> yeah. rate his accent. <laughs> Millie is French, so she can rate accents on French accents. I try. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's hear. Raise your beret to those Canaan days. Also, this part That's always good. confused me with like the, the random tango number always confused me. I was like, what, what, posh, what's yeah. happening? Yeah, and they just threw in a posh number right there out of nowhere. Yeah. It is very fun to watch, though. I love watching mm -hmm. Tango. Yeah. <laughs> Covering Benjamin's eyes. That's funny. So, Robert, if you could get cast as anybody else besides the Pharaoh in this... What mm -hmm. character would you want to play? Hmm. Maybe Joseph. I wouldn't. We'd have to take it down a few notes, but. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, Maybe. but as a baritone. <laughs> yeah. Joseph for Bob, who's almost 60. Let's bring it down. Bring it down. <laughs> You're like, I wore my coat. <laughs> Actually, Marissa, that brings up a question I actually had is, did you actually audition for the Pharaoh role specifically or did you audition mm -hmm. for something else? No, for, for the Pharaoh. Okay. Again, cool. they, knew me, they knew me in their camp from Greaseball, which mm -hmm. is very Elvis-like also. Okay. 
So, cool. um, and that's why, you know, that's why I wanted to, uh, create him. Cause I, I, you know, there wasn't, there wasn't anything you could listen to the original, um, uh, Joseph on Broadway that the, uh, Bill Hutton was the original Joseph and he's still a good friend. Um, but there was nothing to compare it to, you know, so, and I, I wanted to do something different than I did in Starlight where, mm -hmm. you know, Starlight was, it was more rock and roll and mm -hmm. not Elvisy. And then this was, you know, I threw in, you know, um, Joseph, we are the perfect team, you know, things like that. Very yeah. Elvis runs like mm -hmm. that. This is the part where you guys tried to do the the longer note hold. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> that was always one of my favorite parts in this song. It's just like funny. Yeah. In the the production that we did uh, with my dance group back a while back. Um, Mm -hmm. We did one of those things uh, when they were singing this. We actually had one of the brothers as like a full on skeleton, just being like, we lost our another brother. And we're like oh. doing the whole dance with just like a skeleton. Oh, how funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's the sheep. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Do you like that song? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's real. See, oh, I thought he was holding a water bottle for a second. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> They just manhandle the narrator. <laughs> so were you on set uh, this day? Were you watching this as well? This one I came by... Uh one day yeah because i think you know because while they were there we weren't all flown out at the same time they started production mm -hmm. you know so there's costume fittings there's this there's that uh sometimes the fittings were um uh at the at uh pinewood and sometimes there were i was just you know stores and the shoe store and, and i had to go to the um to the wig makers shop where they made the wig mm-hmm mm -hmm. Did uh, did you ever show your kids this this movie oh, yeah. when they were younger? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What were their thoughts on it? <laughs> oh, they loved it. They loved it. And then my son was my son was uh, my son is actually here and, and his girlfriend surprised us uh, for the weekend. He's um, he's going to be thirty one, so he was around when I was doing this. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Did he see you on Broadway? Oh yeah. In Joseph, yeah, not in Starlight. Cause yeah. He was born in 89. So yeah, this is the slot machine I was talking about. It's yeah. Coming. I was going to say it's very, uh, very Vegas. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, the thing that I like about this musical is that it has basically every single genre of music imaginable like absolutely almost mm -hmm. every single song is a different genre yeah like this is like a jazz number and then like the first one was like musically and then we had the yeah. elvis sounding song and then sure. yeah the swing in this is really cool yeah
Yeah, uh, we got a comment from uh, Twitch. Arch said, look also at how they play with the lights. It feels like being there. Mm -hmm. Mm, Yeah. And that's an interesting thing about watching it, again, on film versus actually at a a theater. Like, you'd probably be able to get to see Mm -hmm. this at angles that you wouldn't in the theater. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Close up, too. Yeah, it's another character. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. And I feel like when you rewatch this, you kind of, like, look at the different characters and how they react to things and mm-hmm. it's kind of fun well, I like that Arch actually mentioned the lights because that's something that's been drawing me the most in this movie is like the different colors and the different like way they have it set around the stage like I think it's really really well done oh here comes again I'm getting Matilda vibes again <laughs> <laughs> What time signature is this song in? That's above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> Which song are you guys on right now? Is it Calypso? Uh, here, not. we're on the part where they're chucking their corn. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I think I'm behind. So I'm curious to know for you, Robert, is there anybody that you still kind of keep in touch with from this cast? Like, what was the cast relationship like on set? Oh, everybody was great. I mean, like I said, um, I don't, not too many of the Londoners, but, you know, Jerry McIntyre um, from the original Broadway cast, pretty much everybody. Yeah, because you guys had, uh, when we originally were going to do this watch party, we had to reschedule it. Um, You had a uh a little reunion i guess like a yeah, reunion re- zoom reunion reunion so. zoom mm-hmm. and then at that meeting too we found out uh one of our uh, cast members diana brownstone had done some searching because you know when you record these broadway albums you know you get royalties you know as musicians mm-hmm. and she said hey everybody i got good news you know uh, sent an email to this person at the really useful group and i was like oh great another six dollars okay well take it six dollars six dollars <laughs> No, it was like 1400 bucks. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's incredible. And then you go, that's, wait a minute. How long have you been holding on to these checks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Have you like, because uh, you keep in touch with uh, the people from Broadway. So like, what was one thing that you guys kind of mm-hmm. reminisced about when you were on your Zoom call? Mm-hmm. Uh, just basically, you know, everybody's time. Like one of my good friends, um, uh, his daughter was just born when we were doing it, and we were buying him baby gifts. Well, she's now at, she's now at uh, Stanford. Wow! Oh you know, wow! Things That's like crazy. that. So time frames. It was like my son was my son was three and a half. You know, he's going to be thirty one. Mm-hmm. Um, people were because at the time that was my practice marriage. You know, that was a whole wife ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, my yeah, goodness. Things like that. And then we found out, sadly, I mean, she's OK right now. One of the one of the girls in the, in, in the chorus, um, she just sent out an email saying that I didn't bring it up at the Zoom because I don't want to bring everything down. But I just I tested positive for COVID. Oh, no. So you're like, oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. You know, so. But yeah, she's, she's OK. Well, that's good to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, that's one of the things that that really sucks about the pandemic is that like, you know, we're we can't go out and watch these shows. We can't stay connected with people that as much as we'd like to, but uh, that's, it's cool that you guys were able to do that reunion, even if it was yeah. just on zoom. And, mm-hmm. yeah. and I mean, like on a large scale or small scale, like it's always fun to reminisce with people and being like, Oh, I remember when this thing happened on stage and oh, I remember when I got that line wrong or yeah. <laughs> anything like that. Have you ever had like a major mess up on stage before? Oh yeah. Mm. Fun. Absolutely, hundred percent. What was like your most memorable one, if you care to share? Memorable. <laughs> well, there's so many; it's hard to choose. <laughs> I mean, I, I literally just, uh, I just remember because you know Joseph. There's no dialogue. It's just, it's, it's a, you know, it's all, all singing. Music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Starlight was all singing. Um, 
So not, I mean, some with the, yeah, I think, I think definitely during Song of the King that, you know, just out of nowhere, you just go up on words. Well, I was wandering along the hallway, hallway, hallway. <laughs> make it up, you know. No um, one will know. <laughs> nobody's nobody's going to know. You just you know, own it. Just yeah. own it. Um, I do remember a couple of shows. Like I did a, I did a really heavy piece out here um, called The Bright Side. And it was about a, a, a guy who gets breast cancer. Mm. Um. And there was a lot of heart in it, a lot of heartache in it, a lot of humor in it. And my buddy who I was working opposite of, he plays my doctor. And a couple of times, you know, and this is, a, this is like a 60 seat theater. You, you can't hide. Mm -hmm. There's no way to hide. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of times he had just gone up on something or I had gone up on something and we both had the same cue. So it would be something like, so what you were telling me was this and you try and get the other actor involved and if that doesn't work then you know i've many times i go i don't remember saying that mm -hmm. so and that just continues <laughs> it to the next step so that you know um but it happens all the time yeah you know, and, you, and you just you know you you make it work mm -hmm. Yeah, but with, well, the, yeah, with the musicals, it's just lyrics. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I do know um, the in the mega mix, learning the colors because when you see the mega mix, you know, red, yellow, crimson, la la, brava, mm, <laughs> don't no, forgot, whatever. Just keep like saying colors. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well and it's I think that's a, the a, the sign of a true great showman is like when you mess up and then you turn to someone you're like oh god did I mess up and they're like I don't know I didn't notice you're like okay thank god like yeah yeah, yeah. as long as you don't get a note from the stage manager nobody caught it yeah <laughs> <laughs> if go. you see the stage manner walking towards you you're like oh no <laughs> walk away walk away <laughs> oh my gosh Yeah, I know it's terrifying to to make that mistake on stage. And I mean, like, you know, we we haven't done it in a similar way of like where, you know, Millie and I have had to be on stage. But mm -hmm. um, I mean, Millie, you have like performed in in like uh, perform like shows here and there. Yeah, um, I've done it, too. Like we both kind of did it in high school, but then mm -hmm. started doing more on heavy on the music side. Um, so I can definitely relate with yeah. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Mostly for me, it's it, it it's now choreography. If I mess up on choreography, I don't know if anyone else has yeah. like that kind of stress stream. I actually oh, had this dude. a couple of nights ago, which is really funny. Like, where you're like getting ready for a show and you're like trying to get uh, all the costume pieces together, or like you're running late, or people are like, "What's going on?" And you're like, "They're shoving you on stage." You're like, "But I don't know the choreography," and it's like <laughs> right. such a stressful dream. I don't know if anyone's <laughs> ever had that or if it's just me, but yeah. oh, I've been the uh, you know showing up and everybody's in costume and you're not, you're on stage and mm. you're like, <laughs> but it's still going on. Nobody's even checking or thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so that's oh, the worst. Love it. Oh, I love listening to Donny Osmond sing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I love the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to make that outfit he's wearing just my wedding ensemble, you know, when I get married one day. I'm just going to wear that. <laughs> I feel like, hello, welcome. <laughs> I am here. Your bride is here. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> and come in on that chariot too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, for me, it's going to be the double door fog entrance wow. for me. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we always had this joke in, in uh, my dance group where we talked about how uh, we needed three things. The flick. So we flick our head up every time we're dancing. Mm -hmm. The fire. And then fog. So we needed some sort of there fire you know. production in the show, and then we needed fog. So like this amount of fog would be perfect, adequate. It wouldn't be enough. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I actually was reading just the Twitch comments here and Arch said uh, he had an experience where he burped on stage when he was in a play and he said it was hilarious. He wasn't humiliated. He was just thought it was hilarious. (laughs) It's definitely happened to me when I'm performing. Like, I expect like this is why I don't drink beer when I perform Mm -hmm. Um, because I remember I was like playing in a in a wedding party band and I was in the middle of a song and then I was like don't stop (laughs) just like the worst (laughs) yeah do you uh do you have like a specific um like ritual before you go on stage like do you have is there anything that you do to prepare because I know for me like I can't eat before I go on stage I need to make sure I drink enough water like what's your before a stage ritual um depending on the role um it all varies like when i did rock of ages here i never warmed up i never stretched mm. you know i was just um but i played hearse so he didn't really do a lot of physical did a lot of singing and stuff mm-hmm. um joseph n- never really vocalized because it was it was right in my wheelhouse mm-hmm. obviously mm-hmm. i try not to um, eat too much because of that outfit in the second act you know with my fat belly hanging out <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just, it, it all, it all varies. It all definitely varies, you know, depending on how difficult, uh, the, the character and the, and, and the intent is. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's a good I mean, point. I yeah, can be, fair. I can be responsible <laughs> <laughs> most of the time. No, but I'm just saying. Yeah. I it's will like, say the, the amount of times I have not warmed up when mm-hmm. I should have is too many. Uh huh. <laughs> You get comfortable as a musician or an actor. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> and I always joke too, because I'm a smoker and it was like, you know, I'll be outside. I got to go vocalize. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Give me a beat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yay. Slow clap. Incredible. Ah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. It's great. That ending though. Dun, mm-hmm. dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, dun. So Robert, Beautiful. if you had to <coughs> describe this musical to someone who's never seen it in one sentence, mm-hmm. how would you describe Joseph? Uh, I would say oh, that's a good question. Hmm. It's the it's the feel good musical of the nineties. Mm. You're gonna tap your hands and clap your feet <laughs> all the way out of the theater. That's, <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Um, I would also add. Uh, also, I was uh, Elvis singing Pharaoh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's great. Um, I actually had a question just about with the movie itself. Was there anything you kind of learned from yourself or anything you took away after you filmed the movie like that kind of just changed you differently that, that well, you found? It was the first. Yeah, I mean, it was the first time I shot in HD. So mm-hmm. I did learn that it will capture every nook and cranny, you know, mm-hmm. along with expressions, reactions intent you know all that stuff because it's it's just that that much more intense um because prior to that i had done you know i'd done a ton of films ton of movies a lot of television um you know in the soaps they you know we get taught you know it's three cameras so you're uh, sometimes four cameras all at the same time so it's like being on stage yeah so i had that background um but yeah that that was really it um making movies takes a long time you're sitting you know the Pharaoh song, the Pharaoh number is what? Two and a half minutes? Mm-hmm. 12, 13 hour days to get two verses. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And then very important to match your energy on every take. Otherwise, when you put it together. It's just not going to match up. It yeah. just doesn't. Yeah. yeah. So they would definitely, we would, we would shoot from top to bottom without stopping and then do the inserts and stuff. So you have to remember, it's just like remembering your continuity in a scene. Did I just pick up that beer can with my right hand or left hand? Mm-hmm. All that stuff comes into, comes into play yeah. um, with that. So you get a couple of runs at it, obviously, um, with the camera not rolling. 
and so then you get into your vibe. So you just remember, I did this here, I did that there. And then you match it up because now when they're going to come in here and that close, you got to do the same thing. So you got to make that transition. So, right. but that's, I mean, you know, that's, that's pretty much with everything when it comes to, you know, film and television and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. Thanks for, thanks for sharing all that stuff with us. It's, uh, it's really sure. cool to hear, hear your experience working on film and working on TV and like how it's different yeah. than being on stage. And like, it's, yeah. it's, it's just really interesting yeah. to hear about. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about all the time we have for the stream. So thank you, well, Robert. Thank you guys so thank you. much. I'm so happy to do this. <laughs> Yeah, of course. And uh, right before we go, Robert, can you just let our fans know um, where they can find you and, and kind of keep in touch with you? Yeah, you can find me on uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram. It's just Bob Torty. It's real easy. I try to post a lot of fun stuff. I also post a lot of stuff from my real estate business and um, things like that. And uh, yeah, I'm out there. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Facebook, it's <laughs> Bob Torty. All those social well, media. Uh, yeah. I haven't done the TikTok yet because Ooh. those kids, I just can't figure that TikTok out yet. Please, please join TikTok. Oh, we'll so follow so you, great. please. <laughs> I mostly just want to see reactions to everybody who is like sharing scenes from She's the Man because please, okay. I need to. Yeah. So I, think, I think I might do that. I think I created an account, but I haven't posted any content yet. I mean, it, you want to talk about like, like when Facebook first came out, you want to talk about the biggest time suck in the world. Well, now, TikTok, the thing that pisses me off is I see the story and it's like, you know, we found this door in the basement. We don't know what's there. And I'm looking at the bar going, you ain't going to get to it. You ain't going to get to it. You ain't, like for yes. part two, screw you. Yes. I'm going to dislike <laughs> just for that reason. I have, oh my gosh, it just sums up my entire time on TikTok as well. Yeah. That's, so if I yeah. ever do figure out how to TikTok, I will never <laughs> say like for part two. I will give it to you in part one. <laughs> okay perfect so that's that's amazing <laughs> that's where we leave it there um robert is gonna make a tiktok we're all gonna follow him yep. and he's gonna make sure we don't have to like for part two so never hashtag do never. not like for part two that's great do not like for part two. <laughs> uh oh well thank you so much for being on the show we really appreciate right, you taking and, the time out and give me give me your band name again i want to look you guys up yeah. i love new yeah music. of course you know, <laughs> millie, you life, can, right? mm -hmm. yeah millie you can give the the everything yeah so to our lovely people watching and for robert as well too uh you can find us on social media at vienna white the white is spelt with a y instead of an i um and yeah we we are so thankful for everyone for watching today and hanging out with us and again cool. robert we appreciate you taking the time out of your day and 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 thank, you. thank your wife too for being a part of the show because she was like she's a I blast <laughs> she's getting really noisy now so i'm gonna have to go you know, put the hammer down. well perfect so making, making cookies so. yeah that's awesome okay well i think that's right. everything on our end so we hope you have a great rest of your weekend right. and enjoy thank your you joy stay safe out there <laughs> bye